Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle Warren. Today I'm gonna to be doing an overview and a quick personal review from my own experience that I had on a trip just last month. I am filming this in February of 2022. I'm going to be doing a quick overview and review of Delta's Comfort Plus and like kind of the ins and outs of that. What is it? Just a basic overview of what's included in Comfort Plus and did I feel like it was worth it for my experience? If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by today. If you love travel, tips and tricks, hotel and resort reviews, theme parks, and travel vlogs, then I would love for you to subscribe and hit that little bell down there so that you get notified when I post new videos. Also, quick disclaimer, I am not a representative. I do not represent in any way Delta. This is just a, a review that I wanted to do when I, because I felt it would be helpful. I know personally when I'm planning vacations and planning trips and I'm trying to decide you know, what, what kind of plane ticket do I want to get? What kind of experiences do I want to have? Is it worth the money? You know, there's so many different things to consider and um, you're based on your budget and the type of experience you want to have. So I'm going to talk about like, who is Comfort Plus great for? And you know, is it right for you? And, and this will be a video that might just help you decide if you're planning your own trip, is this right for me? Is this not right for me? So with that said, let's jump into this video. Okay, so a quick, overview of Delta, Delta Comfort Plus. First of all, it is not a separate class. So it's not like first class, Comfort Plus is in its own section, and then the main cabin. It's actually considered part of the main cabin. So you have your first class, section in the plane and then you have the main cabin which has different I guess what they're considering them to be is like different experiences or packages inside of the main cabin so there's comfort plus there's the main cabin and then there's economy plus I believe or economy which is like you can't get a refund for you know basically you're locked in with that economy but it is the cheapest price all of those are within the main cabin the other thing is that your experience on, in Comfort Plus is going to vary depending on the length of your flight. So it's probably going to be more worth it if you have a long flight. You're going out of the country or you're going across the country, right? Shorter flights, you're not really going to notice that much of a difference unless you want some of the just minor conveniences which are great as well so I'm gonna give you just a quick overview of what is included in Delta Comfort Plus I have my notes right here so I might be looking down um, first of all you get to board early so first class that will will board first um, so they'll have like you know special needs and certain certain groups of people get to board first and first class and then uh, Comfort Plus gets to board right immediately following first class so if you tend to like not like to wait in the crowds of people and you don't want to feel like you're being herded like cattle onto the plane which i hate that feeling of being in like a mass of humanity and like everybody's going at the same time so the great thing with comfort plus is there wasn't nearly as many people going uh boarding the plane when i was boarding my, my flight that's something that can be really great also deplaning quickly because you're closer to the front of the plane you're right behind first class so you deplane early also there's more leg room now when I say more leg room it's like three inches so I didn't really notice that but if you are a really tall person if you have long legs and you notice that kind of thing three inches can make a big difference for your comfort level so it might be worth it for you um, you also have dedicated overhead bin space so there is particular bins above the Comfort Plus seats that are only for those people in that row. And that's really great if you wanna make sure you have a place for your luggage that's really close to you. You also get some little extra amenities like upgraded snacks. So while you know the main cabin may get a few bags of snacks like peanuts and pretzels, you might get an additional maybe cookie and something else in addition to what the main cabin gets. So it's not just you get upgraded snacks. In my experience, I got what everybody else got, but I also got several more items to snack on, which was really great. And um, then in addition to that, you can get, de depending on your flight, right now they are still offering uh, alcoholic beverages on planes. You know, I don't 
it's one of those things where it's like, as long as it's still included, that's included in the Comfort Plus. So not only do you get coffee, tea, water, juices, things like that, sodas, you can also, depending on the flight and the duration of the flight, there's alcoholic selections as well. So you can get um, beer, wine, and some cocktails. Again, it depends on what's available on that flight. So I'm gonna tell you my experience afterwards, but I wanted to give you the quick overview for, at first so that you knew kind of all that's included in that. The price for Comfort Plus is gonna vary depending on the flight that you're taking. So I can't tell you like a flat amount. Um, mine was less than $100 to upgrade to that. And when you're considering you're spending like $700 or $750, you know, the $100 didn't make a big deal difference to me. I think my flight without it would have been $650 maybe. And I think it went up to around somewhere around $750, maybe a little less than that. Um, for my flight. So for me, it was worth it. I had four, four different flights. I flew to Atlanta and then from Atlanta to Mexico City. And then obviously from Mexico City back to Atlanta, from Atlanta to my home. So there were four flights, which I got the Comfort Plus amenities on every single flight. So it was included in all my flights. I loved being able to board early. I hate just standing around waiting for them to call certain groups of people. I really enjoyed being able to get on the plane without feeling like I was rushed and there were a lot of people around me and I wasn't stressed about getting my bag in the overhead bin. I was traveling by myself to Mexico this time, so I also just felt a little bit more at ease. If you have a tendency to be anxious about traveling or just nervous about all of that and being around a lot of people, then it might be really worth it for you to upgrade to that just for the kind of, it's a little, feels like a little bit more of a calmer experience getting onto the airplane. You also deplane quickly, so you're getting off the airplane quickly and you're not waiting around for everybody to get off because you are at the front of the airplane. You also can do your own seat selection in within the Comfort Plus area, which is great. I was able to get off quickly when I got to Mexico and get through customs quicker because I was at the front of the plane. So that was really great. Um, the leg room, I really didn't notice much um, because I, a few inches didn't, I, I didn't notice personally, but I, like I said, I think if you are really tall and you want more space, you might notice even just a few inches might make a big difference for you. Um, the overhead bin space, I really was happy about that as well. I wanted to know my bag was right there with me, just the peace of mind of knowing when I got on this flight, I'm not gonna have to worry about finding a place to put my bag. I know it's gonna be right near my seat. And then the little extras were great as well. Now my flight to Atlanta was pretty full because it was kind of a quick flight. They were only offering like water and coffee and that might have been it. I can't remember if they were doing sodas as well, but it was it was pretty sparse with the, the, the snacks and the beverages. It was a pretty quick flight and it was early in the morning. So it was just, it was just the bare minimum. But I did get um, a few, I believe a few extra little snacks, which was great. My flight from Atlanta to Mexico City was phenomenal. Let me tell you why. If, if there are if people don't purchase all of the seats in Comfort Plus, they don't get filled up. So people from the main cabin, the main the that have main cabin seats, cannot come up and sit in the Comfort Plus area because it is an upgrade. So if those seats aren't purchased, they're empty and nobody sits in them. I had an entire row to myself all the way to Mexico. It was so peaceful. It was so nice. So my, my flight to Atlanta was packed, but the one to Mexico and even coming back to Atlanta from Mexico, I still had at least my road to myself. I didn't look at anyone. I didn't see anyone. It was so great. I even took a picture. I was like, this is great. This is so great for the introvert in me. It was just very nice and peaceful. Oh my goodness. I have the whole road to myself. Yay for comfort plus. Aircraft door is now being closed. And then um, on the way back, I had my road to myself as well. And um, there were a, a lot more selections for drinks on my other three flights. So to Mexico, from Mexico, and from Mexico back to the States, and then also from Atlanta back to my home, 
I was able to purchase anything off of the drink menu as well, so that it was all open. And, and the extra snacks were nice too, because you know, sometimes you don't have enough time to eat and stuff. So that was, I felt like for me, the upgrade was really worth it because I was traveling by myself, because I had the peace of mind knowing my luggage with, was with me. I didn't have to deal with lots of people. I wasn't scrunched up next to a bunch of people because I actually had some empty seats next to me. And obviously that's not always guaranteed to happen. One of my flights, it was completely full of people. But um, I, it was totally worth the money to me and I would definitely purchase it again. I, I really uh, had a great experience with that. And so the people that this would be for is for people who might be anxious when traveling, don't wanna deal with a lot of people, kinda wanna get on the plane early, get off early. If you like to have an alcoholic beverage on the flight, it's more worth it for you because again, those prices kinda stack up for you. So if that's something that you generally like to purchase on a plane, you're gonna, it's gonna be included. It's not like you're getting it for free, like you're paying for it, right? But at least it's, it's included in the package, which is great but it just depends on which flight, because some of the flights, like I said, they might have a very pared down drink and snack menu. So anyway, that is my super quick, I was trying to keep this super quick, that is my super quick review and overview of Delta Comfort Plus. Um, comment below, let me know, like, is this something that you've used before? Did you really have a good experience? What are your favorite perks? Or if you are traveling in the future, what would be the most important thing for you? Like which, which of the amenities would matter the most to you? And let me know if this was helpful. I'd love for you to like this, if this was helpful information for you. And stay tuned for lots, lots more travel videos, tips, hotel tours, vlogs, and lots of fun experiences. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thanks for joining me.